and welcome back to Collections Corner. My name is Stacia Smith, and I serve as Director of Education here at the American Revolution Institute of the Society of the Cincinnati. As the academic year nears its close, I'm pleased to introduce students of all ages to the perfect alternative to a summer reading assignment. How about playing the new game of the American Revolution? The new game of the American Revolution is a fall 2022 acquisition to our library's Robert Charles Lawrence Ferguson collection. Created in 1844 as an educational tool for young adults by the author of The Merry Cards, the new game was printed by Lorenzo Burge, Thayer and Company lithographers of Boston. The game's folded playing board features 60 landing spots representing events, themes, and scenes of the American Revolution. Players proceed in a spiral inward from the game's starting point in the lower left corner after spinning a teetotem, a top with a polygonal body marked with numbers indicating the number of spaces to move along the board. The usage of a gaming teetotem goes back to at least the ancient Greeks and Romans. The teetotem was later adapted into the dreidel, played at the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah, and the paranola played in many Latin American countries. You may remember a reference to a teetotem in Lewis Carroll's Through the Looking Glass, when Alice's movements provoke a creature, who is actually the White Queen transformed into a sheep, to ask Alice, are you a child or a teetotem? The new game of the American Revolution can be played by any number of players. Players spin the teetotem and move the number of spaces assigned. Starting at the space called Playing Soldier, Players progress from Stamp Act past in March 1765 through milestones such as the destruction of the tea, the Battle of Bunker Hill, the Articles of Confederation, the Battle of Brandywine, the arrival of Comte de Stang, the Battle of the Calpins, the surrender of Cornwallis at Yorktown, and finally, Washington resigns his commission in December 1783. Between the battle and event milestones are a number of spaces featuring hand-colored illustrations that either advance the player or send them back, depicting scenes entitled Patriotism, Humanity, Generosity, Military Execution, Prison Ship, Deserter, The Disabled Soldier, Hope, and Pension Office. The winner of the game is the first to arrive at the center circle called the Land of Freedom and Plenty. To learn more about the 19th century new game of the American Revolution, or to play our 21st century online educational game, Revolutionary Choices, visit our website at AmericanRevolutionInstitute.org.